Hey, how's it going? Thanks for taking the time of your day to watch this video marketing analysis that I did for you. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly where your website is online, how much business it brings you versus your top competitor, and I'm going to show you exactly how to dominate these online searches when someone's looking for a dentist in Whittier. Um, so as you can see, we're on our business page. So we are an internet marketing agency based out of San Diego, um, and everything I'm going to be going over is search engine optimization okay it's optimizing your website uh, to be found on the first page of Google Bing and Yahoo and all these major search engines okay um, so I just want to jump right into the video so here is your website all right Whittier Family Dental um, I'm gonna go over some things that you may or may or may or not already know um, so whenever someone needs a product or service they're gonna use Google okay ne over 90% of the population do this okay so they're gonna take out their their phone or go into their desktop and type in to find you you know uh, dentist in Whittier um, you know this could be used for carpet cleaning uh, limousine service uh, yacht rental um, you name it um, this is how people are finding information on the internet all right so to find you someone simply would type in um, you know Whittier dentist um, they could type in dental clinic in Whittier um, or any keyword of that nature um, so as you can see, here are all of the keywords for Whittier, um, and the, the one I typed in here is Dentist. Alright, so Dentist alone gets 110 searches per month, alright? Um, so every month in your city, someone is looking for a dentist around 2,500 times per month, okay, year-round. Okay, so the profit margin um, is really huge uh, for your city. Um, and as you can see, I have access to, I'm able to locate all of the keywords um, that potential clients and patients are searching for in your city. So dental, dentures, emergency dentists, implants, dental implants, braces, Invisalign. Um, all of these, you know, top keywords I can rank your business for. Um, and so that you can corner uh, a lot of this market and add more patients, you know, to your chairs at your clinic. All right, so, um, so here's the search, Whittier Dentist, all right? Uh, so you're actually number two in the local maps. You're right here, and you are number three in the organics, okay? So 96% of the population will click from page one of Google. So this is your page one. So if you're not on page one, you might as well be on page 20. Lucky for you, for this search, you are surely on page one. Um, and then 70% uh, come from the top three. So let me show you some stats here. So if you're ranked number one, you corner about 35% of all the market. All right. So if you're number one here and number one here, that's about 70%. All right. So for you, you're number two in organics. I'm sorry, in maps. All right. So you are going to be cornering about 18%. Um, of the map listing and then for organics at number three you're going to be getting in around 11 percent so you're getting in around 29 percent so a little less than a third of all the visitors um to these to these searches okay um most people when i'm sure you can contest this you're going to want to go for the number one person because that's the most trusted it's at the top of the page right that's that's who gets all the clicks okay um, so the goal is to move your website from number three to number one here in the organics and number one in the maps, okay, because that's where everyone's really clicking from, okay, and you can, up, when we do that, you, you'll be cornering on this search, um, since I don't see any ads, and there's ads at the bottom, um, but you can corner, you know, up over 90% since there's no ads running at the top. So there's a huge potential to grow your business here. So let me show you where you're at versus your competitor. So right now you are around six to seven SEO clicks per month. All right. So these are people that are typing dentist or uh, dental implants or things of that nature. So you're only cornering about seven of those individuals per month. All right. Um, your top competitor, who is um, Whittier Dental Office, okay, that's this doctor here, uh, John K. Suddick. He is getting 
um, you know, anywhere between 37 and 12 per month. So he had, a, he had a nice little spike last month and he's still up there getting more than you. So as you can see, he's getting a lot more attention to his website than you are through these searches. So, I mean, one client um, can be, you know, 4000 to $15,000 depending on the, uh, the uh, dental procedure. Okay, so as I said, the profit margin, there's huge potential. Imagine getting, you know, 20 more clients per month. Um, that would be uh, pretty substantial, I know, to your clinic. All right, so that, that's the kind of potential market that uh, you, you could possibly get. And again, I mean, uh, they're not even tapping into it. Like I just told you, 2,500 times per month, somebody's looking for a dentist pretty much and using uh, different keywords. So the goal would be to rank you in all these keywords, okay? So now I kind of want to get into how we do it. What's the process of search engine optimization? All right, so Google has an algorithm. It has 200 determining factors. I'm not going to talk about all of them, but I'm going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones. All right, once we nail these, everything else falls into place. The first thing I want to talk to you about is your actual website. Um, so 60 to 80% of the population when they need a service, they're going to use their phone, all right, their iPhone or Android. Um, so you have to be mobile friendly, okay? So I ran a test with um, Google from the mobile friendly test, um, and your website's not mobile friendly, okay? It's saying uh, text is too small to read, links are too close um, for various reasons, okay? So pretty much it doesn't look great on a phone, um, but it looks okay on a website, but uh, like I said, 80% of I'm, I'm sorry, it looks great on desktop, but like I said, 80% of people are going to be on a, on their phone. And most importantly, actually, Google released a new algorithm update um, through what they call their hummingbird. And um, it really penalized, uh, you know, business owners that did not have a mobile-friendly site. Um, so this is something that could uh, make it or break it down the line for you with your website, and it could get penalized further. And actually moved off the first page of Google. Um, it's just a matter of time for uh, Google's algor algorithm bots um, to catch to your site. Um, but to prevent that, I highly su suggest you know getting a mobile site, which is something that we could definitely uh, do for you. Um, and then that's going to really give you a lot more boost to be able to rank number one in your city. Um, so that's mobile friendly. The next thing I want to talk to you about is authoritative content. So. Once we get you on your mobile and Google friendly site, um, we want to have Google wants to know: Are you educating the prospect when they hit your page? Are you mentioning all of your services in your city? You know, multiple times on the home page, um, and do you have at least one thousand to two thousand words on the home page? Okay, this is very important. So, if you want to rank for all of these keywords and pull all these potential um, patients um, when they're searching for you, definitely want to be mentioning those keywords on the home page of your website okay this is very very important so right now you really don't have any content you have a couple sentences here in the center of the page okay so when we build your new site we're gonna take um, you know all of the concepts and information testimonials uh, and what have you um, from here and your photos um, and we're gonna make it uh, you know just a lot more appealing and aesthetic and, and mobile friendly on on the, on the new site okay and it's totally up to you um, if you want to go down that route but I highly suggest it um, seeing that it's something that uh, is, is definitely going to be um, affecting you here in the near future all right so I just want to give you an idea what I mean by authoritative content right so I went to Google and I uh, searched elephant all right just bear with me so look what's number one Wikipedia Wikipedia is notorious for popping up number one for these searches because of their authoritative content. So if you look at this page, it probably has 50,000 words on the evolution of elephants, their habitat, what they eat, where they sleep. Um, I mean, any and everything about elephants. So um, this is what I mean by authoritative content. You're going to want a large chunk of information that explains your services and your business and where you are located. Um, you know, 1,000 to 2,000 words is going to be perfect for your market and what we're trying to do here, okay? So just that's just to give you an example, all right, of what I mean by authoritative content. And real quick before I move forward, you know, I mentioned the mobile-friendly site. So there's, there's tons of articles out there on the Internet about, you know, why your site should be mobile-friendly, how um, having a mobile-friendly site is going to affect the future of your business online, um, and how it could be penalized. 
Um, so there's there's tons of information out there. So I just want you. Here's one great article um, that I read that that's in my uh, my library that uh, I wanted to share with you. So please, you know, you can pause the video, um, read the article, um, and then you know search for yourself. Um, but there's a lot of great information out there on uh, the new on, on having a mobile friendly site. Um, so back to the analysis. So that's two down. All right, we talked about the mobile friendly site and we talked about authoritative content. Right. The next thing I want to talk to you about is that's kind of like the on-page optimization stuff. Okay. Now I'm going to talk to you about the off-page optimization. Um, so to get you ranked locally here in the Google Maps. Okay. You do ha you're like a see your your site is Google verified. Okay. With Google My Business. Um, so what we need to do is figure out where you're listed because uh, b the reason you're here and not here it's because this guy has better uh, citations. So let me talk to you about citations. Um, the, this is how you get listed on the internet. So, you know, some examples are Google, obviously Yahoo, Facebook being yellow pages and white pages. These are the top 50 in the country. Um, you definitely want to be listed in all of these. This is how we get our business name, address, and phone number listed on the internet for people to find us. But most importantly, Google sees this as you listing yourself. It's kind of like a phone book, right? When you do them, you have to have the business name, address, and phone number identical because if not, Google is going to penalize you. So right now, you have some variations in your name, the address, um, again, the name and the, and the address. You're missing a couple listings here. Um, so these are, like I said, the top 50. We want to get you listening to all these with the accurate information, but um, there's thousands of these things, and we definitely want to get you listed in hundreds and hundreds over time. Okay, so right now uh, you have you're only optimized about 69%. So there's about a 31% error rate that we need to fix um, in order to rank you uh, number one here in the maps. Okay, and that's going to bring you literally from 18% or 15%. Uh, you know, double to 35% of the clicks here in the map. So that's going to bring you a lot more business and patience, right? Um, so the last thing I want to talk to you about are backlinks. We also call these influence pages. Um, so say you have a client, you know, thoroughly impressed with their dental service. Um, you know, maybe they write articles or have a website or a blog. So what's going to happen is they're going to write an article about you and mention you on the internet somewhere. So anyone reading the article can click a link to your website, but most importantly, Google's going to take this as a vote. Okay, um, you know, Google really is a popularity contest, um, and SEO is really about you know what do you say about your business online and what does everybody else say about it. Um, so this is like running for president, right? The more votes you have, the more chances you're going to win the presidency. So these are your votes. These backlinks I'm about to show you. All right, so this is your website here, right? So let me explain these numbers to you. What this is saying is there's four referring domains, meaning there's four websites, or let's just say there's four people online mentioning you um, 21 times. Okay, this 21 could be from social media or blog posting. Okay, what we want to focus on four uh, people talking about you online. Okay, now what Google wants to know is how many people are talking about you and are they important or not um, the trust flow determines if they are important or not so right now they're not because it you're at a zero okay um, so let me show you this chart this is the trust flow quality meter so if you're at a zero obviously you know you're going to be low quality um, medium would be 15 and high quality 20 so the goal is to get you anything over 20 right let me show you your top competitor so this guy he has 19, pretty, let's just say 19 people talking about him, and he has a trust flow of three, okay? Still very low quality, all right? Low quality, but the reason why he's number one is because he has more people talking about him, and they do have a little bit more better quality individuals. They're a little bit more important online, okay? That's what that means, Okay, that's why this guy is ranked higher than you here. And this is how you get ranked organically number one. Okay, so now what we're going to do for you is we're going to link you to some very high powerful links. Okay, um, all of our links are actually 25 and plus and over 30. They're actually off the charts. So let me show you one of our clients. Um, we have a solar panel client that has seven offices, you know, in, in Southern California from LA to San Diego. 
um, we're doing SEO on his current site in LA and we're working on building him uh, websites for each of the cities he serves. So this is the one we built for San Diego. Okay, so you can check it out. It's a very nice custom site that we built um, that's really just built for conversions and functionality. All right, um, so this site, we started it from the ground up and you know, in 90 days, um, the trust flow, we pointed 16 links to it and we're also doing blog posting and social media. <laughs> Um, but most importantly with this these 16 links the trust flow is 34 so as you can see very very high quality I mean this is all completely off the charts okay so that's the type of quality that you can expect your business would be um, would be uh, uh, reaping on so this zero eventually will be over 30 and we're gonna point you more and more links and this will guarantee you the number one spot this is what Google wants to see you know how many links and how many people are talking about you online and the most popular person gets the number one spot okay so that is SEO and um, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video that concludes the analysis so um, again thank you for the time I, I really hope this made sense for you and your business um, we would really love to partner with you um, and bring more patients to your clinic. So please reach back out to us. You have our name, my name and uh, phone number and my email address. So please reach back out. We'd love to get with you and uh, take the next step forward to growing your business through uh, internet marketing with search engine optimization. Um, again, thank you and you have a good night.